Welcome to the detailed presentation of Extraction. Extraction is the new quantity takeoff software tool by Alconsoft. Alconsoft specializes in developing software solutions for project management. When working with Extraction, the first step is setting up the project's work breakdown structure. Once you run the program, you can open an existing project or create a new one. You can manually insert the project's WBS using the WBS button, or you can import it directly from Microsoft Excel. Press the Close Window button, and the WBS is automatically entered into the WBS tab. Then, the drawings on which the measurements will be performed can be inserted. You can go to the Drawings tab to add the desired drawings. Extraction can handle vector files such as DWG, DXF, WMF, and so on, as well as scanned image files such as BMP, JPEG, TIFF, etc. You can insert a scanned drawing and if needed, you can level it by selecting two points along a line that normally should be horizontal. You can adjust the drawing scale by picking a dimension on the drawing entering its length and then marking its two endpoints on the drawing. This process helps to eliminate scale distortions caused by photocopying or scanning. On the drawings, you can perform complex as well as simple measurements. You can begin a measuring procedure directly from the WBS tab. Select the work item you wish to measure. Press the New Measurement button. And select Drawing and Measurement Type. You can measure surfaces, for example, ceramic floor tiles of bedroom 1, and specify color and other measurement details. When needed, you can use the magnifier tool. You can also use the zoom option by turning the mouse wheel. Ortho is also available. When finished, you can terminate the measurement by right-clicking and selecting the appropriate option. The polyline closes automatically. You can also count items such as doors, windows, sanitary ware, etc. by marking them on the drawing. This helps to avoid forgetting or counting something more than once. The measurement result appears in the drawing measurement sheet and the WBS window as well. You can also work from a vector drawing. You can insert a new drawing by using the New Drawing button. It is possible to measure surfaces that are perpendicular to the drawing, even ones with variable height, for example in the case of inclined roofs. From the WBS tab, you can choose the item whose area you want to measure, press the M button, choose the appropriate drawing, select Area as measurement type, and click OK. After setting the appropriate description details, in this example we are measuring bathroom paint, you can select the Vertically to Drawing option in the Measure Area box. This enables you to set the surface height in the Common Height box. Vector drawings give you the advantage of using the O Snaps function. By pressing the Escape button once, you can pause the measurement and resume measuring from a different point. When finished, press Escape twice to complete the measurement. You can continue a selected measurement by clicking on the Continue Measurement button. 
In this example, you can continue the measurement by adding the parts above the bathtub by changing the height accordingly. You can do the same for the part above the door, adjusting the height again. In the drawing measurement sheet, the total bathroom paint area is displayed. Also, with the Continue Measurement Subtract button, you can subtract openings such as windows from area measurements. You are able to subtract curved openings as well. This can be done by right-clicking and selecting Drawing Arc from the shortcut menu. You can utilize the aid of available snaps when needed. The subtracted opening is marked using a hatch. Notice that the wall area has changed to exclude the subtracted area. In addition, you can use existing blocks for automatically counting items, for example night tables. Start a new measurement from the WBS tab, select the appropriate drawing and choose items in the measure box. In the count window, after specifying the description and details, you can select count blocks from the type box. Then you can choose which blocks you would like to count using the select block list. All existing blocks of the specified kind are marked on the drawing and their sum appears in the drawing measurement sheet. You can also use group selection for fast large scale measurement. For example, you can measure concrete volume of building columns. First, open the Drawing Layers window and hide all layers using the appropriate button, activating only the one that is relevant in this measurement, in this case, the concrete hatch. Alternatively to the M button of the WBS tab, you can start a new measurement using the measurement buttons from the Drawing toolbar. By selecting all closed polylines in the concrete hatch layer, you can calculate the corresponding total concrete volume. You can start by pressing the V measurement button used for measuring volume. In the volume window, you can set the description and specify the WBS work item with which this measurement is affiliated using the pop-up window, in this case, load bearing columns. You can then set the remaining details and the floor height. In the type box, click the select objects option. Now, you can select all the hatched objects. By terminating the measurement procedure, the total volume is automatically calculated and shown. Furthermore, you have the ability to measure lengths which are not visible in the drawing because, for example, they are perpendicular to the drawing. For instance, you can measure the length of a cable which runs across a ceiling and bypasses beams. After creating a new length measurement with the appropriate characteristics, you can activate the Extra Length option in the Length window. This way, each time you create a node, you are prompted to add extra length if appropriate. For each node, you can specify how much extra length should be added due to obstacles such as beam depth. In the Drawing Measurement Sheet, you can see the total measured length. And in the Measurement tab, you can see the full measurement analysis. In addition, it is possible to add non-drawing measurements of objects which are not depicted in the drawing, or measurements that do not need to be marked on the drawing. You can add non-drawing measurements directly from the WBS tab using the Add Non-Drawing Measurement button. Then, in the pop-up window, you can specify the measurement details and then affiliate it with its corresponding work item. You can then enter the totaled item quantity. The item quantity also appears in the WBS tab. Extraction also provides you with the ability to mark already measured areas so that it is easily and clearly visible which areas have already been measured. This can prove very helpful when working with complex drawings.
The measurement results appear in the Measurements tab and are affiliated with their corresponding work items. They are also directly linked with the actual measurements on the drawings. For instance, you can check which measurements of a certain work item have been completed. Double-clicking on a measurement of the work item in question opens the drawing to which this measurement refers, if that drawing is not already open, with all related work item measurements activated, while unrelated measurements are hidden. This enables you to spot sections which may have mistakenly been left unmeasured. Hidden measurements can easily be reactivated. You can also group measurements so you can keep better track of your work. Grouping measurements can be done very easily and you can even make multiple groupings. Then, you can quickly access measurements using groups expanding menus. Additionally, you can filter measurements by column values using the drop-down menu. Filters are a great tool for narrowing down the export data according to relevance. For example, you can export all data that concern a certain subcontractor, or a specific floor, or a specific work item, etc., or even a combination. Furthermore, you can use the filter editor to set your own filters with great freedom of choice in specifying desired filter conditions. You can filter the measurement data by a range of certain values or even exact values of specific columns. In this example, only the measurements with a specified work item are shown. When finished, you can export measurement data of your choice to Microsoft Excel. For example, you can isolate a group of specific data and export those only to Excel. Finally, you can export the WBS to Microsoft Excel in several different forms. These include a more compact view of WBS, as well as detailed versions that include all available data. For more information on extraction, you can browse our website, www.alconsoft.com, or contact us via email. You can also download our free trial version to get a glimpse of what extraction has to offer. Thank you.